this episode of All Access. Good find, Levine was waiting. First six game road win streak yes, for the sir. Bulls since 2014. We down to the end where everything matters. They've got to have that mindset like every game is playoffs. You know, we got to get these next ones coming up to, you know, give ourselves the best of possibility in these standards. Yeah. It starts with a tap in Portland. You got to get this one first. This is a big road trip for the Bulls. We're down to the end where everything matters. Every quarter, every second, every every minute of a game matters. From Levine on the assist. Oh, so rocks it. Kobe's been great, you know, making the reads of, of hitting the pocket or hitting the hitting the cross court pass with the low man. It just shows how much more he, he, he's he's willing to sacrifice with his game and, and for what the team needs, and it's been great for us. Go! Bang, bang, bang. Good win for the Bulls. Good win. And it's now stays a season best five straight road wins for the Bulls, who have two more road games on this trip. I said yesterday this was going to be fun as hell. So was it fun as hell? Yeah, win is always fun. We're off to LA, going back to Cali. Our superstars, they buy in. Our road players follow their lead. We put the work in. Uh, you know, we didn't. You know, we didn't come to LA. You know, to have a good time. Beverly drives it. I want to take the Lakers out of the playoffs, he said. He said, he said he's too small. He didn't say LeBron James he's too small. <laughs> Billy's using me as a spoon. You know, the Lakers, you know, I was a spoon. They used me as a fork. You know, so uh, it's just different. But I'm fortunate. We're not construction workers. We're not, you know, guys that have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. We're professional basketball players. Good find. Levine was waiting that for it. was a heck of a pass by Patrick Beverly. It's all about having fun, man. And that's, uh, that's what we try to do. <laughs> To Jones, he'll take the three and oh, knock it down. Stop it. First six-game road win streak yes, for the sir. Bulls since 2014. 48 bench points. I mean, just who he is, period. The aura he brings of being competitive, to have that goes a long way. And you got to feed off that. You know, he holds everybody accountable at any given moment. They've got to have that mindset. Like every game is playoffs. Beverly hits a three. You're fighting for your playing lives right now. As soon as something goes wrong, he own it. He own it. You know, he, he, he's extremely vocal about it. And you, you feel it. The loss tonight does not negate what the Bulls have done lately, obviously. They played much better. I think sometimes, you know, luck plays a part. Um, the ball going directly to them or the exact spot that it needs to go to for them to grab the ball. Uh, but um, we've got to be better. Beasley got a strip. Here's Levine ahead of the field. Chase back. Obviously, you don't want to have back to back losses. Anthony Davis continues to have a rock solid game. With Four of their five starters are in double figures. Nice pass to White Hope. Right with steal by Levine. You know, we got to get these next ones coming up to, you know, give ourselves the best possibility in these standings. There's a, a wide range of emotions, man. We've seen it a lot these last uh, two meetings between the Lakers and the Bulls. That's why I love this game, man. Yeah, they, were, they were waiting to get it back. Oh, hey, they were waiting. And credit to the Lakers, they did. Bulls dropped the 36 and 40. They will maintain 10th place in the Eastern Conference. You still encouraged about this team having a strong finish? Yeah. You are? You're not? I don't know. I'm, I'm you from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. So you got to be right. No, I have to be. I, I'm yeah. So yeah, hell yeah. You from the Chicago? Last two, the last from Chicago? Really hell yeah. Great. I don't care how I go. I better go. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all a part of the basketball. You know, uh, the game is blessings or lessons, and the last two has been lessons. We're fine. You know, we're good. You're running into a Hornets team that's playing pretty good right now. They've got a bunch of guys out with injury. They're playing a lot of their younger players. So this is a scrappy, athletic Hornets group. To a lot of these young guys' credit, they have played very well as of late. Here's Levine on the drive. Man, nice move by Zach. I love the way Zach Levine has been playing since the All-Star break. Yeah. He is looking to attack. Early to Levine. 
Thor's back there, oh. Levine the ball fake and the deuce. Oh, yeah. he, he threw him off with that little show and go. Definitely was important, you know, especially off coming off two losses. It was important for us just to lock, lock down, understanding it was going to play hard to the end. It was going to make a run. Um, we, just, we just had to stay with it. Defense by Williams. Dosumu finds him. Patrick Williams. There you go. Good job. Good defense, defense that time. Bulls with a solid, impressive 30-point victory tonight. Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan each with 23. Vucevic with 21. Bulls trail by as many as 23. They're able to cut it back to 15 as we get set for the start of the third quarter. Oh, there's a steal by Levine. Took it away from Tillman's. Shields and scores. Oh, nice defense by Zach. With how much we were down and being able to come back and, and get a lead like we did, um, yeah, I think it's great. Back-to-back -back turnovers from Memphis, giving the Bulls an opportunity now to get a little rhythm. Levine, tough pass to Caruso. Whenever you come back and you win a game or you know get close after being down, you know, double digits in the first half, um, especially versus a, a team like this, I think you gotta, you know, definitely pat yourself in the back. Bulls down it. by they three. Got Here comes the beat to White. Kobe! Kobe! White! Maybe at the rim and don't be late. Peel it up twice a year, and we got one today. It's a one-point game in Chicago with 210 in the third. I, I just got there who you know, I just just experience over time. You know, you're trying to get better. Williams for the lead. From down 23 to up for the first time in this game. We played well, and and I give them all the credit. You know, and, and Patrick Beverly is he's great. You know, like he said, you know, you have to embrace adversity, and I'm like totally in agreement with that. We got to embrace this. It's a struggle right now. Obviously, you want to give yourself as much uh, possibility in the play in. You know, the higher up you get, you get more, more games. Obviously, so you know, try to win out. Obviously, I think these last, last four, you try to win every one. You can see see where it may place you at. Come back, win against a good playoff team. Shows what you can do in the second half and stay with it. We understand where we are in the standings. It would have took a lot for us to, you know, play ourselves out to play in. We're trying to get a little bit higher seats. The Bulls have got to stop these slow starts. This team is playing for a playoff spot too. Yep. They're in a desperation mode even without Trey Young. From the beginning, we're you know, playing from behind and it's hard. They really came in, took it to us. Now another turnover by the Bulls. And Johnson takes it all the way. It was a big game for us for sure. It could have you know, helped us in the standings. Uh, but you know, yeah, we, didn't just, we just didn't have the, the approach needed tonight uh, for whatever reason. I think we, we definitely weren't trying to take it lightly. You know, they played well, played aggressive. We missed some shots. and didn't get you know, the right uh, energy into the game. I don't think we brought the, the physicality and we weren't locked in. I thought our guys came out of the locker room and really gave a really, really good effort. And we're competing and trying and stuff, but you're playing against a team that, you know, was made the plays that they had to make every time we kind of got it within eight, nine, and ten, and they kind of kept us at bay. DeRozan! You can understand some of the frustration of the Bulls right now. Every one of these games is a, you know, must-win game for us. And Gotta move forward though and try to get ready for these next next three because we don't have any time to dwell on the past. Um, obviously, you don't want to come out flat like this. And, you know, I think it's the most important game of the year. Well, despite the loss last night against the Atlanta Hawks at home, the Bulls did clinch a spot in the play-in tournament. Kobe White, a huge three, and for Kobe White, number five all-time in Bulls history, and he just passed Michael Jordan on the all-time three-point list. Which bitch on the drive against Lopez. Oh, Brooke Lopez. His 50th double-double of the season. He's only the fourth Chicago Bull, joining Artis Gilmore, who did it three times, Pau Gasol, and Charles Oakley. Here is Ingles for three, and the Bucks making their run. They have cut the lead back down to two. They've scored the last eight. We had an opportunity to, you know, try to try to move up, especially with these last three games. We had an opportunity in different ways, and um, you know, it just didn't work. I think we played really hard as a group during the play, and you know, if you don't win, you're done. So you better throw it all out there, regardless how you're playing, how you're feeling, and then let the chips fall where they may. 
always believe if you got a chance, you got a way. It's an opportunity for us to make the playoffs. Put all your chips on the table. Understand when we beat the big teams this year, what happened, what was our mindset. Back in your bag, understanding that, you know, we, we just not going to play one game. I love the play-in tournament because it gives hope. And anytime you have hope, you've got a shot. So for the Bulls, you know what? They've got a shot now. And they have to leave it on the floor, which I expect them to do. White kind of separate with a strength. Williams throws it to Vucevic. Sure. Kobe did a really nice job, him and Vooch working together in two-man game. You know, it was good to see him be aggressive, shoot it, and get downhill. Brooklyn is now officially the number six seed. Miami's the seven. Atlanta's the eight. Toronto the nine, and the Bulls will be the ten. DeMar DeRozan has a chance to go back to Toronto and eliminate a team that drafted him, not only drafted him, traded him. That storyline is going to be huge. Just to go back with so much on the line, you know, uh, it means a lot. You know, it's, it's something that, you know, you can't make up. You know, it's like a dream come true. Carly Jones buries a topside three. Earlier this week, Carly Jones won G League's MVP award. I actually saw him play at Louisville, and then of course he goes to the G League, has a fantastic year a season ago, and now this year with Windy C. I mean, I love his attitude, I love his spirit. He can get to the rim, he just loves to hoop. Carly Jones hits oh, it! Give me the hot sauce, Carly! Patrick Beverly loves it. 14-0 run by the Bulls. Slow feet don't eat. Slow feet don't eat. Yeah, I give our guys credit. We just kind of hung in there. We kept competing. We kept battling. It was good for those guys to get that opportunity on the road to have to come from behind and, and play in a close game like that. The ball game is over, and the Bulls escape with a 115-112 win. What's up, Bulls fans? Thanks for watching this video. For more, click here.